Fourth eight. Angles formed by two parallel lines and a transversal. You will find this on page 170 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, let's look at example 9. In the figure, KL, KL is parallel to MN. Find the angle X. Now, the problem is that there is not a parallel line here. So, let's just read the note. It is sometimes necessary to construct lines to help us to find solutions. The construction lines should be drawn as dotted lines. Okay, so if I put in an extra line just to show that it's an extra line, I just make a dotted line. Okay, now basically that dotted line is dividing this angle x in two parts. So let's call it x1 and x2. Now, so first we construct a line. Remember, this line is parallel to this line is parallel to this line. So let's start. Now, if you look here, I, and I want to show you, do you see the z? Do you see the z? So if this is 20, then x1 will also be 20, and that's due to alternate angles. Okay. Now, if I want to look at x2, so I have that this one here is 20. Now I'm going to work out x2. Now, can you see my c? And I can indicate it again to you. So what will these angles be? These angles will be supplementary. What does it mean? They add up to 180 degrees. So basically, I can just say x2 plus 55 is equal to 180. And what will I do with the positive 55? I will subtract it on the other side. And I will find that this one is 1, 2, 5. Now, to find x, I must take x1 and I must add x2. And basically, if I add it up, I come to 145 degrees. Okay. I want you to do try now 9. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Now, let's start. It's try now 9. Now, given that AB is parallel to DE, find the value of X in the following figure. Now, we have the same. We, we have this, this angle here makes it difficult to transfer the information. So, let's do exactly the same. We bring in an extra dotted line, which is parallel to AB and DE. So, this will be also, let's just correct that one, is also parallel. Okay. Now, basically, we can start by using this. So, we are going to, let's we divide this and we call this, um, we can make the top one, I just want to get another color, make it Y1, make it Y2. Okay. Now, to find Y2, let's just get my color, so angle Y2 will be equal. Now, look at my Z. Do you see my Z? Okay, can I show you again? Okay, look at my Z. So, if this is 30, what will Y2 also be? Y2 will also be 30. And the reason, it's alternate angles because F, G, okay, and I'm, I'm just going to call this F, G, okay, so F, G is parallel to D, E. You, you can call this any number, but as long, then you have to construct this on your answer sheet, and you have to just write in the name there. Okay. Now, if I just say, remember that Y1 plus Y2 will be equal to that 64. So, if I just want to find Y1, I can just say, I have the answer of Y2 now, it's 30. So, Y1, okay, I'm, I'm just going to redo it to make it for people a little bit easier. So, let's substitute. So, first say Y1 plus 30 is equal to 64. I just substitute Y2. And now it will be easier to see. To, to get it cancelled here, I subtract 30.
30 and I subtract 30. So then I'm going to say 64 minus 30 degrees. And if I subtract that, I will come to an answer of 34 degrees. Okay. And now I'm going to look. Now, again, I want to show you here. Okay, here's the Z. Let me just show you nicely. Can you see the Z? So I can say Y1 is equal to X. So let's just write it. So Y1 will be equal to X. It will be equal to 34 degrees. And that is the Z. What do we call the Z angles? Alternate angles. Because AB is parallel to FG. And that will be my solution of example 9. Okay, I think we're going to continue with example 10. Let's first go through it. So in this case, it's just like an algebraic expression here. But I, I use exactly the same rules. So find the value of P. Now, I, I just want to highlight it for you. If you look here, what do we remember that lines are parallel. What do you see? You see a C. So these angles, what will they be? Supplementary. That means they will add up to 180. So this angle plus this angle will add up to 180. And now I, I basically just solve the equation. I leave the, under the values with P on this side. Uh, to cancel on this side, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to add, no, let's just take another color. I think red is always nice. I add, oh, this is white, okay, I add 47 and I add 47 on this side. Did you see there, the 47? And then to get rid of the mi negative 48, I add 48 and I add 48. So can you see that side? And then I just add up my like terms and I divide and I get the value of P is 55. So if I look at try now 10, let's just write it down. Try now 10. Okay, now again, I gave you even the hint. Find the value of k in the figure. Now, uh, can I just highlight it again for you? What letter do you see there? It looks like a F. Okay, so basically, if it's a F, I can basically say that, okay, let's just clean it a little bit that I can see. So I can say that, 3K plus 30 is equal to 4K minus 10. And what will be my re reason? It's the F angles, we call it corresponding because the lines are parallel, parallel lines. It's not, it's not marked, so we just right parallel lines. Okay, now, this is a plus. To get rid of this negative 30 here, uh, positive 30, I subtract 30. And I subtract 30 on this side. So let's just write that first down. So I this will cancel. So I have the 3K, and that will be 4K minus 10 minus 30. Okay, now I want to cancel the positive 4K and that will be negative 4K, and I do it to that side also, negative 4K. So basically, what will this be? 3K minus 4K, that cancel. Okay, I can also remember if the signs are the same, what do we do? We keep the sign and we add the numbers. Okay, we're going to move up a little bit. So basically, the same here. Let's just see what I'm going to do. Um, if the signs are different, what do I do if the signs are di different? I subtract the v v numbers, so that will be a difference of 1, and I take the sign in front of the biggest movement. So it's negative 1k equals negative 40. And then to get this positive, I divide with the coefficient, which is negative 1, and I will get my value of k. What will that be? 40 degrees. Let's just rewrite that a little bit better. So that will be 40 degrees. And, and just for the finals, let's just test it. If you say 3 times 40 plus 30, 
So three, this is 120 pl oh, this pin, plus 30, uh, so it will be 150. Can you see that? Okay, and let's do it here. Four times four, so what will it be? 160 minus 10, and it will also be equal to 150 degrees.